I'm Grace. And I'm Gracie. And, and we, we are G Squared. Hey. Don't think about it. Just move your body. Listen to the music. Sing oh eh, oh. Just move those left feet. Go ahead, get crazy. This month's Makerspace Challenge is with Perler Beats. Come to the library and fill out your book madness brackets. Next week is the first track meet. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Next up is tracker interviews. I'm Sierra, and um, my season's been going good. And <laughs> we've been working hard on our stairs. What events are you thinking about doing? Okay, and I'm doing my hurdles, and I'm doing the 400. Later. Great. Hi, Molly. How's your track season going? Uh, it's going good. Are you carrying our water jug for tonight? Yes. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. So, how's track going? Uh, it's good. Um, uh, doing. I haven't done the hurdles yet. I haven't practiced them, but I wanted to do the hurdles, 200 on jump, and the 100. So, yeah. Oh, great. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Hi, Destiny. How's your track season going? Pretty good. Would you mind elaborating on that? Um, well, I've not really gotten to run because of my arm. And uh, so I'm a manager. Uh, yeah. Awesome, thank you. Hi, Raina, how's your track season going? Good, I think, yeah. Uh, keep talking about it. How, how, like we did <laughs> two miles of stuff. Oh yeah, so what events are you doing? Just short distance stuff, like probably the 100 and the 200. Cool. Short stuff. Good. I don't know. Hi, Mackenzie. How's your track season going? It's good. I'm happy and excited about it. Our first track meet is in a few days. I gotta get prepared, but yeah, I'm excited. So, what events are you thinking about doing? I'm doing. I'm thinking about doing 100 meter and the mile run and throwing softball. Hi, Dustin. How's your track season going? Good. I'm gonna do the 800 and maybe discus or something. Hi, Curran. How's your track season going? Good. I'm a manager. That's great. What have we been doing in track? Um, working on like sprints and jumping and throwing. That's good. Normal track stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dixie. Hi, Sarah. How's your track season going? I'm good. What have you guys been doing in track? Running a lot. Um, what events do you think you want to do? I'm going to do the 100 meter dash. Um, I don't know yet. It's good, cool, cool. Hi, Cassie. How's track going? Hey, it's good. It's fun. What events are you thinking about doing? Um, distance. Not sure what I want to do in distance yet, but distance. Hey, there, how's track going? Track's going actually really well, better than I expected this year, so I'm really, really excited about it. What events are you going to do? Well, I was thinking about doing the 200, the high jump, and the triple jump, but I might do one or two distant things. I'm not quite sure yet. So, yeah, that's great. Hi, Kylie, how's your track season going? Going good. We're working hard. So, what events are you going to do? Um, probably the mile and the 800. That's great. I don't know if I'm going to do anymore. Are you ready for your first track meet? Yep. Hi, Destiny. How's your track season going? It's going good. So what events are you thinking about doing? Um, 100 meter, discus, and shot put. That's good. Hi, Zach. How's your track season going? Good. So what events are you going to do? I don't know yet. What do you have in mind? Well, I'm starting the 100 meter dash. Any relays? No. Okay. What do I say? Hi, Trevor. How's your track season going? Good so far. We haven't started any meets though. What events are you thinking about doing? Uh, hundred relay and hurdles. That's good. Are you excited for your first meet? Yep. Hi Grace. Hi Bree. How is your track season going? Great. Good. So, what events do you guys think you want to do? Um, the hundred and two hundred dash. Um, the four by one and the hundred dash and triple jump with the Dara. Yeah. <laughs> so, when's your first track meet? April 5th. Are you excited? Yes. Okay, thank you. Hi, Coach Will. How's your track going? It's going great. We're having a great year so far. 
So, what are you looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to see how we compete this year. Uh, our first meet is in a week, a week from tomorrow, I guess oh. next Tuesday. And I'm just kind of looking forward to see what athletes kind of show up at the meet and how we do. That's great. Awesome. Thank you. So, Gracie, who do you think is going to win the Royals game on Sunday? Def the Royals. All right. Next up are Royals predictions. What are your Royals predictions for this year? That they are going to do really good. Uh, I think they might win the World Series again. Hopefully. What are your Royals predictions for this year? For the Royals? Oh, I, I mean, why wouldn't they go all the way? We're going to win. What are your Royals predictions for this year? We're going to lose. We're going to lose every game. We're going to go to the World Series. I think we're going to get close to the World Series, but not quite there. What are your Royals predictions for this year? Oh, my Royals predictions. Um, jingle jangled. I'll say they will finish first or second in their division and make the second round of the playoffs. They're going to win. What are your Royals predictions for this year? Oh, I think we can repeat last year and be world champions. What are your Royals predictions for this year? Um, I predict that they're going to win this Sunday night against the Mets. They're going to win their division and then they will not make it to the World Series this year. Three in a row is pretty, pretty tough. Yep, they're going to choke. <laughs> what are your Royals predictions for this year? Royals predictions first place in the American League Central and repeat champs for this year. World Series champs again, I'm telling you, it's going to happen. What are your Royals predictions for this year? Ooh, I don't know as, as much as like Mr. Schneider and those guys, but uh, we're gonna win it all, right? We're gonna win it all again. What are your Royals predictions for this year? Oh my gosh, the Royals are gonna do awesome this year. They did a solid to my boyfriend, Salvi, and so now he's gonna be behind the plate and the Royals are going to go and back again. It's gonna be great, just like last year. Grace, if you were a spring flower, what would you be? I would be a tulip, I just because I like them, and they're pretty. Aww. Next up is, if you were a spring flower, what would you be? If you were a spring flower, what would you be? A rose. <laughs> a rose, because everybody loves roses. Can't be in it with If you were a spring flower, what would you be? A tulip. Why is that? Because they're beautiful. If you were a spring flower, what would you be? I was a spring flower. Mm -hmm. I don't even know if you were. If you were any flower, spring. what would you be? If I were a flower, I would be a sunflower. Why? Because be I'd be flower? really tall and <laughs> edible. Edible. And sunflower I'm an seeds. annual. I grow. Yeah, sunflower seeds. I used to give tattoos of those things. <laughs> those <laughs> little. Yellow they were really big. I grew sunflowers in my yard like that were like pie plates. They were that big. Wow. It'd be the first time I could be tall. Thank you. I don't really know any flowers, but are roses a flower? Yes. Oh, I knew they were a flower. I didn't know if they were spring flowers. But I, I would probably be that. That's my middle name. But Good reasoning. Really? Yeah. That works well. If you were a spring flower, what would you be? I would be a daylily. Why is that? Because they are perennial, they're hardy, they're smart, and when they bloom, they're beautiful and everybody recognizes them. Thank you. Uh, if you were a if you were a spring flower, what would you be? No, I said I had one more Come on. Yeah. Why would you be a tulip? Yeah. Let's go. Oh. What would you be, Colby? Oh, I'm sorry. I clover. A clover? Why is that? Because I like Irish. Nice. What would you be? Um, I would be uh, a daisy. Why? Because they're cute like If you could be a spring flower, what would you be? A <laughs> lily. I would be a dandelion. Why is that? Because a lot of people don't like them in their yards. Yeah. Kind of like students don't like me in class. <laughs> because I'm difficult to get Do rid that. of. Okay, thank you. If you were a spring flower, what would you be? A petunia. Why is that? Um, because that's the name of my chicken. <laughs>
What is the best April Fool's joke you've ever played? I put salt on my sister's toothbrush one year. Why? It's April Fool's Day, bro. Next up is the best April Fool's jokes. What is your best April Fool's Day joke or prank? Um, to tell my parents that I broke my phone. <laughs> What's your favorite April Fool's Day prank or joke? I was born on April Fools, and that always makes it brutal because people are always playing jokes on you. When I was when I was a boy, we were really poor, so my brothers would always play the same joke with me, and I must have been dumb or something when I was a kid. So every year they would say, "Oh, I wish your mom and dad got you something really great for your birthday." You know, we saw it. And they would get a box and they would wrap it up with newspaper and they'd put it up there, and I thought it was actually something. And then every year I'd open it up, and there'd be nothing in the box. So I never fell for it again. Anyway, that was it. What's your favorite April Fool's Day joke or prank? Um, when I was student teaching, my cooperating teacher, uh, one day she took my teacher desk out of the office. So when I came in, there was a student desk there waiting for me, and she had a little note that said, I think this is maybe a little bit more appropriate. So she put me in my place. I'll say it. What are we doing for the end of the year trip? I don't know, but we're about to find out. We're all excited for the end of year trip on May 6th, but this year it's a little different because students are going to get to choose where they want to go. The two options are Worlds of Fun and Sky Zone Trampoline Park. In advisement on April 5th, which is Tuesday, students will get to choose which one they would rather attend. Students need to keep grades C and above for second semester. Attendance needs to be 90% and above to attend and no discipline referrals to the office for second semester. All permission slips and waivers will be distributed also during advisement and money will need to be due to your advisement teacher by Monday, April 25th. Cutoff date for attendance is Friday, April 29th. So encourage all of your friends to be at school and do what's needed to get to go to the trip. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for watching. See you next week. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is a, this is our newest segment and it's called What is Paul in the hallway? Talk. <laughs> I'll talk with Gracie. Joe, Hi, Joe. how is your day going? <laughs> Getting there. Hey, Aaron. Aaron. Hey, how was your day? Hello, guys. Hey, Hi. guys. It's Hania, beautiful as ever. Gabrielle. Hi. You got my hair! Crazy. <laughs> Announcements! Sorry, I had to get through. Retarded, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, just stop it. Just stop it. And then